morning time. Hello everybody. Hello you. Are you hungry? Here you go. Oh, that's a lot of meat, isn't it? There you go. Let's put you on autofocus. Okay. Why aren't you focusing? Mm, there you go. <laughs> All right, who else is hungry? Kookaburra? And don't take my fingers off, will you? Ah! <laughs> oh, you guys out there are hungry too. Everybody's hungry. Look at them all. Oh, all right, will you catch magpie? Here you go. Oh, good catch. Kookaburra? I'm just going to put it there. No, 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 no biting fingers. <laughs> you dropped it. Move over so I can put it down, will you? All right, how about if I just just move over? There we go. <laughs> I've got such strong beaks. All right, there's an ibis down there. And there go all the kookaburras. Are you going to fly off with that one? All right, let's get a bit closer. Here you go, kookaburras. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. Oh, you're hungry tonight, eh? You're always hungry. You want some magpie? Here you go. Good catch. G'day, guys. Welcome back. I'm going to do a swipe today. And this swipe is uh, inspired by a lovely lady that was on my um, Facebook group page, Pouring Your Heart Out. And her name is Jessica Nisbet Gibson. Hey, Jess! <laughs> she did the most gorgeous swipe with a tree. And I said to her, oh, do you mind if I have a go? And she said, not at all. So I'm going to have a go. And um, hopefully I can do you justice, Jessica. So... Without further ado, I've never done this before. I mean, yes, I've done the um, Shelly Art swipes, but I've never, like, embellished it. So, let's get going. I'll put down my pillow first, which I'm using the British Paints uh, white wall interior paint. And then I'm going to use Paints Grey and Grey. And they are the Joe Sonys, that's the Paints Grey. And then that is Nimbus Grey. So I'm using those. And those are mixed with the pouring medium. I'm not going to go into all that again, um, how I make my pouring medium. I've got lots of videos on it. So you can just, if you want to see, check them out. The black, I always use white for a cell activator. But I'm using black today. This is, what's it called? Lamp black. I've got a lamp black and an oxide black in the Amsterdam and I didn't know which one to use. They're both opaque, they're both black. Don't know, do you guys know which one's blacker? Anyway, I've mixed it two parts Floetrol to one part paint and that's what I'm going to swipe with. So that's in there. All right, kiddokes. Hope I've got enough paint. I've only got probably half a bottle. So this is what I just had previously mixed up and I thought that might be nice. See, I've got all these pre-mixed colours and I just had a look through those and I thought oh what would look nice you know as a background like a wintry sort of a background and I thought yeah those those should look nice so I'm going to take the lids off so that I can pour out I'm going to swipe with this because it's a good shape see how I go with that right oh let's get going so first thing we need to do is pour down our pillow paint this is a um 30 centimeter canvas, 12 inch, 12 by 12, 30 by 30. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Uh, put the little lid back on. These are great because you can put the lid back on. Let's move it over there. And then I'm just going to make that into like a, a rectangle. Just because sometimes your corners are hard to get to. So just help it out a little bit. Leave it there nice and thick. I'll just wipe my hand. Um, and then I'm going to put the darkest colour down first. 
and then the grey and then the black swiping one over the top. Right, here we go. And Jessica used quite a lot of paint, so I'm just going to... I'll just put down what I've got that's in here. It's all dripping off the sides, mind you. Okay, and then the grey. These two will blend together when I swipe anyway. And then we'll get some white coming through as well. It's kind of wintry looking, isn't it? So that's that done. Move them out of the way. Oh, I'm nervous. I was nervous doing something new. I should have practiced before I showed you guys. But anyway, I'm just going to go for it. All right, a little bit of black down the center. I don't think we need too, too much. Okay. Okay, here we go. And swiping. Oh, I haven't got my paper towel. Hang on, there's a bit here. There's a bit here. This is from my resin pieces. Okay, here we go. Swiping. Mm, the black sinking. And I'll pick up a little bit of this black and swipe that way. And get some cells up. I'm not quite sure what brand of paint Jessica used. Um, yeah, don't know. Let's put some black down there because I've run out. So, um, you know, everyone, I guess, gets a different effect using different brands and different colours. But um, I think it's just nice to have a go, have a play. Alrighty, so that's that done. Now let's tilt and uh, stretch this out, cover the edges. I'll go up to that corner first. I hope my background's not too, too dark. It's darker than what hers looked like. Although, mind you, once I start stretching it out, it'll probably change. Over the edge there. I can come back and cover, you know, paint my sides later if I don't go over all the edges. That's not a problem. And I just want to basically see if I can do a tree. <laughs> I don't care about the sides at the moment. Hers flowed a lot faster. Maybe she had a little bit more paint on than I did. Not sure. Okay, over there. Come back to the middle, kind of ish. Sorry if you can't see, I'm just kind of centering the paint again. Okay, I think that's it. Now I'm going to turn it around so that I can work this way. I just feel that this is the bottom. Okay, now let me clean my hands and we'll see what I can do. The fun part. There is quite a lot of paint like on down here that I can pick up and do the sides with later on. Now I need another bit of paper towel. Okay so this is where we swipe to get the shape of the tree. So I'm going to follow these black lines here for, for my branches. I don't, I don't know if I'll do that one but hopefully we'll get some white underneath. Hopefully there's white still under there. So I'm not going to use the whole width. I'm just going to use a little bit of that and see if I can Get some white up. Hmm, not a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go again. Maybe that's not the best thing to use. And one there. So I want the trunk of the tree quite wide. Whoops, I went a bit deep there. <laughs> I was scratching the canvas. Well, there's my white, look. Let's see if I can get some more white. There we go, that's what I wanted, a little bit more white. I'm going to stand over here and see if I can get a little bit more white through there. Beautiful! Oh, and see there's the black as well, which looks really nice when you get the black and the white up. It kind of looks like shadows. 
So that's really pretty. We'll make it a little bit thicker at the top. Now do whatever shape takes your fancy, hey? Whatever shape you like with your tree, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Okay, now then, now that's the base of the tree. There's the trunk, there's the stem. Now I'm going to start putting in some smaller pieces, um, like little little branches. Actually, I prefer that to be in a, a point just there, but I better start down here again. That's it. No point starting in the middle, is there? Okay, now um, let's draw in um, a few little... I'm using this pop stick. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I'm going to try with some like wider pieces like that. And then I'll come in later and make some thinner ones with um, the skewer. I'm going to stand on this side though because I can't get a nice curve there. I'm loving those colours that are coming up under there. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. I'll leave it like that. Having a play. Let me make sure that we're still taping. I always freak out now because one time, well, not one time, quite a few times, it stopped taping as I was um, talking. So I'm now always freaking out about it. I'm just putting in some more little branches here, kind of making them a little bit wispy. Do I want any there? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. It looks like a tree, you guys. Hey, Jess, I'm doing it. I don't know if it's as good as yours, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm trying. All right, let's do a little. Now, I wonder if I need any more. I'll have a leave. I'll leave that for now. Let's see if we can go in with this little skewer and um, like put a few little ones in now. My paint's really thick. I don't know whether or not you need to kind of wait for your paint to kind of set up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know whether you'll actually notice these with the paint being, you know, thick already. It's pretty thick. I don't know. Maybe it's one of these things that you can like wait and come back to. I don't know. I think what you need to do is drag that white through so that you can actually see see your little branches. You need to kind of drag the white through, I think, is what the plan is. Otherwise, you can't really see them if you're not dragging your, your white. And then for a little bit of contrast, let's dip the skewer in the in the black and um, just see if we get a little bit of, I should clean that off, shouldn't I? Oh, I don't know, the paint's really thick. So it's just kind of dropping down. So I don't know that, I don't know if that's right. <laughs> It looks like a tree. Now, for me, I think it's best not to fuss too much um, because I might probably lose some of my definition. But what about if I... See, you can't see the black that I'm actually putting in there. I don't think you can really see it. Not really. I think probably the white. If I had more, more white, I actually maybe I should make up a couple of, of white. I'm not going to do it now. I think that's, 
I think that's as good as it's going to get for this one for my first attempt. What do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's quite dark. Like the background's quite dark. Maybe I've swiped too hard. I don't know. We shall see. But that was fun. I enjoyed that. Um, actually, I wonder if I can... I've got some white in here. What about if I take a little bit of white out? Pour it into a cup. Hang on. Um... Actually, it's probably, hmm, it's probably not much point actually because I was thinking I could put some more white in the cup and then dip this in and pull it through. But because this is so thick, I don't think you're even going to see it. I think the best thing to do is probably more of that. Pushing in to the white that's underneath. I think that's probably a better, a better idea. And then pulling that white through again like that. I think that's yeah I think that's the best thing to do for me anyway because the white's under there it's just a matter of pulling it through so yeah I think that that works better for me look at that that's better it's like a, a, a ghost gum in winter <laughs> in Australia we have ghost gums though the bark's white make sure that's clean So yeah, pulling the white through from underneath, I think, is the is the trick. And then not the skewer so much. I think I'm going to stick with this thicker one, which actually gives me more control. And then I'm just pulling that white through again. Yeah, the skewer didn't really work for me so much. I think this is... This is better. It's actually getting in underneath to that white. You know that white pillow paint that I had underneath? I feel as if it needs a bit more white up there. It needs a little bit, a little bit more thick up there. I'm just going to actually see if I can get a little bit of white on my... Oops, oh my gosh. Showing you and now I'm sticking that in there. I just want to put a little bit of white through there. It just needs a little bit more. And of course, you've got to be careful not to ruin it. Hey, okay, I'm happier with that. I like the, the wider branch at the top there. And let's see if we can just make another one. And then same on this branch here, so a few, because those ones that I did there before, you can't really see them, they've kind of vanished, they really have. So, I think this is, this is what I need to do, is, um, yeah, pull the white through for sure, because that's, that's really pretty, yeah, <gasps> love that. Do you like that? Okay, that's it. I, I like this, how it's a bit of negative space down there. You don't have to have, just because you've got a branch there doesn't mean you have to have a branch there, you know? I think it's just nice like that. And then, of course, the tree carries on up that way. Right. Let me turn her around so that you can see from, actually, no, I'll bring you down. I'll bring you down. That'll be better. Let me just get my gloves off. I wish I had some... Actually, you know what I'm going to do before I get you down? I'm just going to pick up some of this paint. I'm just going to cover the sides. Because this is really pretty. I've got some grey over here. Cover up my corners. There's not much that I've missed. I think next time I do this, um, there's a few different colours I want to try out. Like I'd like to try, because um, I've just done that autumn or fall resin bowl. I was thinking that, um, you know, re uh, autumn colours would be nice. So it kind of looks as if the tree 
you're showing the tree at either sunrise or sunset, you know, because I thought that would look pretty as well. So I'll do another one in, in like reds and oranges and things like that. So it does look like a sunset. I'm not doing a, mad, a wonderful job of covering up my sides, but it's better than nothing. I think next time a little bit more of the white pillow paint and I could possibly use a little bit more colour. Oh no, look, I've got plenty of colour. I think just maybe more white because I've got plenty of colour there, haven't I? Does it look a bit sort of... Oh, geez, that doesn't look nice, Julie. The white, does it look kind of a bit snowy? Arctic? Oh my gosh, I love it! Look, it's not perfect. <laughs> but, um... I think it's not bad for my first attempt. What do you think? Right, let's get down and have a little peek of boo a bit closer because you're looking at it upside down, aren't you? Let's go around and have a look. So there it is. Look at that. It, I've got a lot of grey. A lot of grey. Maybe I didn't need so much paint. See, it all depends on how you swipe it, you know, like how much pressure you put down um, when you're swiping. Because if you put a lot of pressure down when you're swiping, you drag the colour a long way. Whereas if you just do it very lightly, you don't drag the colour very far at all. So it makes a difference. But I've got some gorgeous cells. So that was a two-to-one cell activator. Usually when I make my cell activator a little bit thicker, um, like even a one-to-one -one when I'm swiping, my cells stay more like that than like this. See, they got a bit overstretched there. So I think next time I'll do um, a one-to-one -one cell activator. But I love it! Thank you so much, Jessica, for sharing your wisdom with everyone. It's lovely when people share, isn't it? Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Um, and I'll come back and uh, in a few days we'll do another one in um, like some sunset colours. There you go. Ghost gum. <laughs> Looks like a ghost gum to me anyway. Oh, actually looking at it now I wouldn't mind a little bit of black through the centre. I wouldn't mind that at all. Hang on let me see if I can grab my... Mm, I probably shouldn't play with it should I? A little bit of... Better start from down here though. A little bit of black, a bit of shading. Probably need to do it with this stick. Mm, don't ruin it, Julie, don't ruin it. I just think it needs like a little bit of shadowing, a bit of shading. You know? Just through there. That's it. Just a little bit. It was just too stark white for my liking there. Now I love it. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Love you all. See you real soon. Bye for now.